we start, we'd like to take time to recognize the Pac West Conference All Stars from Capilano and Douglas. From Capilano University, number four, Andres Romo. Also from Cap U, number eight, Adrian Sahaga. Also from Cap U Blues, number two, Eric Swanson. Now from Douglas College, number 12, Milan Gandesha. And also from Douglas College, number four, Furhan Waisey. Congratulations to all the conference all-stars. Now if you would all rise for the playing of the national anthem. starting lineups. For the Park Capilano Blues, number one, Nick Luongo. Number two, Eric Swanson. Number four, Andres Romo. yet windy day over here at the Burnaby Sports Complex. Of course, today it's the first day of competition for the 2019 PacWest Soccer Championships. With the first game being between the Douglas College Royals and Cap U Blues. We're just moments away from kickoff. 
Today's officials will be Dustin Dewan, Maurizio Martinello, Aria Shakui, and Angelo Pulice. Pulice, I should say. <laughs> As mentioned before, it is a windy day. I don't know if you guys can see it, it is sunny. It was raining earlier on. We're gonna see how both teams fare with this weather. Game on. The Blues starting off with the kickoff. The ball repossessed by the Royals. Easy stop right there for the goalkeeper. Ooh, a tricky move right there. Almost cost him one right there. Good pressure put on by Nick Luongo. First whistle of the game right there, given to the Royals. For those of you out there that are curious, we are in sports field number three over here at the Burnaby Sports Complex. Pressure being put on the goalkeeper off his line. That was a close call there as well. Both keepers being tested in the first few minutes of the game. Indeed be a corner kick for the Royals taking it is number 17. Alejandro Varela. A misstep from Varela over there, taken advantage of by the Blues. Unfortunately, throw that chance away. starting to pick up again. A missed throw by the Royals right there. given to Peter Alex Peter Alexandrakis I should say the name probably let see what the Royals can do here quick kickoff to number 12 Going for another corner, number 17 for the Royals, Alejandro Varela. Also struggling with the win there, as you can see. Ball keeps moving off its mark. Tricky situation here for both teams. 
That kick swerving a bit. Not what Varela expected, but best you can do in these conditions. Now taken over by Peter. Repossessed by the Royals. Squander that chance right there. If you're just joining us now, welcome to the Pac West Championships. This year hosted by Langara College. Our first game of the evening is Douglas College Royals against Capilano University Blues. Broadcasting live here from the Burnaby Lakes Sports Complex. Andres Romo with a pass over to Chris Damien. A long pass finds its way to Bryce Milway. See what he can do over here. Cross towards the box, but just a bit too much. Goalkeeper Felipe Domingos. Going to take the kick. Long strike down from Luca Lacasio. Ends up in the hands of Burhan Wazy. Clears it back to his goalkeeper. Good job by Luca Lacasio blocking that line right there. Stopped right there by Nick Luongo. Pass through the center, finds its way to number two. Unfortunately boots it to Royals possession. Both number sevens getting themselves in a little bit of a tussle down there. Keeper coming well out of the area. Picks up the ball, throws it down over to Lucasio. Finds a clear opening to number eight. Ooh. Getting pretty dangerous in the center there. As you can tell, both teams are getting a little bit frustrated with the win right now. Even pregame, you could see them practicing, trying to predict what would happen. And uh, unfortunately, with the win, you just can't.
Royals possession. Throwing being taken by Taylor Richardson. A correction, that was Varela who took that throw in. Ooh, offside. Captain gives it a large boot over there. Still in possession. Here comes an opportunity there. Let's see if the strike proves eventful. And it is. First goal of the game. Taylor Richardson. The great strike. Found the bottom left corner on goalkeeper Nick Luongo. one nothing Royals. Great first goal by Taylor Richardson, number 11 for the Royals. So far in the game, Richardson as well as Varela have had quite a few touches. We're going to see if we see any more from these two gentlemen throughout the game. by Locasio, who's uneventful as it goes into the area for Felipe Domingos, goalkeeper for the Royals. Long strike from Wazy. Thrown by Andrew Shoring. Correction, Agbagi. There's a stop on the play to check in on number seven, Ahmed Ibrahim. I believe it's a possible bloody nose. It's a quick safety check. It seems everything is all right. Good call by the ref, just making sure everybody's safe. So Eric Swanson gets stopped by Joshua Penny. Oh, and that chance did not quite work out. Oh, another one by Penny. Putting a lot of pressure right there on the Blues. The Royals are definitely feeling a lot more confident after that first goal. A little too much contact there by the Royals captain. 
Possession Blues. Chris Damien has the pass overhead, being chased down by Adrian Sahagan, who unfortunately loses it to Rosmer Agabagi. Header by Agabagi. Ball kicked out by Burmwezi. A precision pass from Hartley finds its way to Richardson, who somehow gets it through. Oh, but the play is blocked. Taylor has another one right here. Let's see what he can do. A stop right there by Nick Luongo. See who will take the corner for the Royals. It's looking like once again, Alejandro Varela will be taking it. The Blues are going to have to protect the box right there. We can already see what the players can do. Another corner for the Royals. Varela takes the corner short. Passes it far out. Ooh. Ooh. A near chance. Ooh. Crazy, crazy sequence of events right there. As mentioned before, we need to watch out for the wind. That almost costs the Blues another goal. Great footwork from Gandesha. Taylor passes it back out. Agabagi now working the ball. Finds his way through to Deslornier. Too much power put on the ball there. More fancy footwork from the Royals find their way into Blues territory. Ball unfortunately goes into the hands of goalkeeper Nick Luongo. Cap, you now feeling the pressure. Toss in by Chris Damien. What a long strike from Merlin Fisk. Unfortunately, number 15, Bryce Millway, is offside. Goalkeeper Felipe Domingos decides to take the kick a bit closer right into the hands of Nick Luongo great 
pass down the side. Unfortunately, does not work well for the Blues' is number 14, Peter Alexandrakis. If you're just tuning into us right now, these are the Pac West Soccer Championships. This year hosted by Langara College. This is the first game of the day between the Douglas College Royals and Capilano University Blues men's teams. Score is currently 1-0 for the Royals. Long boot from Felipe Domingos finds its way to Royals possession. of the body there by Ahmed Ibrahim. Ibrahim bringing it down. Fortune gets taken down right there. That will be Blue's possession. Stepping onto the field right now for the Blues, number three, Andrew Shoring. Small pass from the keeper to the captain. Finds his way back to Agbagi. Well, unfortunately, gets dispossessed right there, but regains the ball. Cool under pressure to the captain. That gives a large boot right to number 11. We've already seen what Taylor Richardson can do. Great pass. See if he can gain his composure, get the ball back in time. Yes, he can. The ball was deemed out of bounds. Taylor Richardson passes the ball off to Wazy. Oh, Wazy, unfortunately, couldn't control it right there. Taken over by the Blues. Number 19, Tyrese Mees, who finds the ball to Sahagan. Pass to number 10. Can 10 find number 3 on the outside? He sure can. Andrew Shore has just come on. Let's see if he can find it. Fortunately, he gets blocked with a header by the Royals. We've been seeing some great defending by the Royals thus far. Trying to hold on to that lead. Number 15 for the Blues finds way through. Unfortunately, locked off by number 17, Alejandro Varela. Now taking the corner for the Blues, number two, Eric Swanson. Swanson with a great corner. Ooh, but stopped right on the line by goalkeeper Domingos. Qu 
quick throw in by the Blues. Another unfortunate play caused by the wind right there. Ball went well out of the stadium, but we got another one real quick. Quick throw in by the Royals to get things started off again. Fortunately, the ball once again goes out of bounds because of the wind. Try another throw in right here. All right. Oh, the captain. This trip right there, number 10, as you can see, has gone down. Not look good right there. Referee has awarded a free kick from the area. Discussion right now between Rafael Domingos and Alejandro Rella and Milan Gandesha. Seems as if Rafael will be taking the kick. And unfortunately, the wind, as mentioned before, has been causing, has been plaguing the game with problems. Number 10 experiencing that right now Let's see if it can hold off just long enough for him to get his kick off there we go Ooh, a long strike just over the bar by captain Rafael Domingos Chris Damien with the ball now. Passes it off to Luca Locasio. Unfortunately loses it. Ball still in play. Chased down by goalkeeper Nick Luongo. side call. Reset on the kick. To be taken again by Royals. from number four, Burhan Wazy. Finds his way to a Royal player who takes a strike well over the net. Fist. Nice footwork right there by the Royals number 12. Let's get out of that situation there.
Oh, a good pass through, a good first touch by number 10. It seems like he was held down in the box, and that is a yellow card from the ref given to, I believe, number six from the Blues, Luca Lacasio. The kick will be taken by captain number 10, Rafael Domingos. And that is a goal, second goal scored by Rafael Domingos for the Douglas College Royals. definitely need to try to see what they can do before the first half ends. Let me blues possession right here. Throw in by Andrew Shoring. arguing who the ball went off of. It's gonna be awarded to the Royals. Gonna be kicked out by Felipe Domingos. Solid strike by Domingos straight through the center. Oh. Quick recovery by the Blues number seven, Ahmed Ibrahim. Ibrahim seems to be down right now. He did take a fall on the ball before. It seems a second one over here near the center line. Gonna shake that off. Luca Lacasio finds Andrew Shoren, who finds the ball with Adrian Sahagan. Sahagan struggling over and falling. Will be taken by the Blues. Sahagan with a great strike. Still in the air. Oh. Caught by goalkeeper Felipe Domingos. The Blues are going to have to find a way in order to keep themselves in the Royals' end. Great flick there by number 10. Varela getting it out of the area. Varela once again kicking it out. over here down at the line. Oh. 
Andres Romo will be doing the throw-in for the Blues. Great throw-in by Romo. As Ibrahim. Now Lacasio finds at the end. Andrew Shoring. There's a great cross to the center. Header. Oh. A great header by Bryce Milway, but unfortunately does not go in the back of the net. Another one stopped by Felipe Domingos. That was a great chance there for the Blues. They need to do more of that. Here comes Andrew Shoring once more. Going to try to find the net. Ooh. Unfortunately, did not work there either. Blues are going to need a bit more of what they're doing right now in order to stay in this game. to Varela. Booted out by Gandesha. A lot of chirping going on by the sidelines. Blues are definitely feeling frustrated right now, and the wind does not help at all. If you're just tuning in right now, the score is 2-0 for the Douglas College Royals. Number 17 finds eight. Actually, it's kicked out while being chased down by Royals number 10. Rosmer Agabagi with the throw in. Good find right there, Adrian Sahagan, who gets pushed off the ball. It's going to be Royals' possession there. Agavagi with the throw in. Casio to Luongo. Luongo to Romo. Romo to Fisk. Lose that right there. Great strike. The Royals and four finds number 11. Taylor who gets stopped right there on the line by Luongo. 
I've been seeing a lot of action so far in this game from Taylor Richardson. Okay. A lot of frustration being seen right here by the Blues. Andrew Shorin. Oh, ball kicked out by Rose number four. Another throw in coming in by Andrew Shorin. Number six. Ball being chased down by the Blues. Not quick enough. calling on for some players to come closer. Richardson dispossessed. A large check there. The battle of the nines. Possession blues. Still with the ball. Number 12 coming down large. Strike by number 12. Just on the outside of the net. All went a little too long for number three. We're going to have to do something quick here with time running down. Corner's gone a little too long there and out of play. Royals are going to take their time. Varela has been doing a lot of work. We'll be taking the throw in. Throw in stopped by number 10 of the Blues. Pass from Shoring finds Sahagan. He puts it into the zone, but unfortunately, nobody from the Blues is there to finish it. Another strike by number 10. Stopped by Felipe Domingos. Yeah, 
Eric Swanson in the long boot finds number 15, unfortunately offside once again. Keeper does well in finding a player from the Royals. Just keeping good control on the ball now. Putting in work. Game possession right there. Be a free kick awarded to the Royals. Taking it will probably be number 10, Rafael Domingos. He's currently working out a plan with number 12 as well as number 17. We're going to see what they're going to do right here. Long stripe of Domingos is on target, but stopped by goalkeeper Nick Luongo. That unfortunately didn't go the way the keeper wanted. We'll see if, nope, it'll stop again. And that is halftime with the Royals leading 2-0. My mom and my dad are both volleyball players. When my mom and my dad got married and had three children, we grew up around volleyball. I remember us going to Santa Barbara and it was a amazing trip. Towards one of our last preseason games, I remember feeling sick. I had issues breathing, and I had neck pain, lots of headache, and pain on my left arm. I went to bed normal, and the moment I woke up, I sort of fell off the bed, and at that moment, my left leg and my left arm, I couldn't really feel it, anything. I had to relearn how to hold a fork, how to walk, how to sit and just repattern your body to normal ways of moving. It puts your life into perspective. You just start asking yourself these questions. Why would it happen to me? Like, wasn't I healthy enough? I still have fear sometimes when I start getting sick and I start having a little tingly or a little pain, I'm like, oh my gosh, right? It just takes me to that dark place of, I'm not gonna be able to play again, my body's not responding to what I want, like, what, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna be healthy again? I remember being at physio one day, and I remember this child I remember her looking at me and I was having a really hard day. It was emotional. And I remember this child approached me and she's like, we are all superheroes in this room. So don't be sad because you're a superhero too. On that moment, I was like, wow, 
Like, that child just made my day. Alex, you want to over here? Lev, are you all done three? Every child deserves to be active. And I think that the fact that my body took so much away from me when I was paralyzed, I feel that giving the children the opportunity for them to understand how important their body is and what incredible things their body can do, it was for me an amazing thing. The fact that I struggled so much when I see a child sort of going through a hard time and she doesn't want to do it or she just wants to quit, I relate that to my recovery. I love thinking that things happen for a reason and I think that this illness happened to change my life. I learned so much from this. I'm a different person, I'm a changed person. What will you do? Coach, perform, support youth in need. Maybe you'll help people build a secure financial future or change the world with words. Whatever you do, start at Douglas. You'll get the best of both worlds, the academic rigor of a university and the hands-on learning of a college. I think here at VIU, there's such a community of people that come together throughout your education and the experiences and networking that I've been able to do here during my four years of education has been uncomparable to anything else I think I'll ever experience throughout my life. I think the biggest thing at VIU was how everybody just welcomed you so nicely. As soon as I walked onto campus, I knew that this was going to be the school that I'm going to be going to for the next four years and I just felt welcomed all the time. It's absolutely worth it, um, even if you just go to build community and just start from that point, I think that you'll find that it's a really supportive environment. Just a lot of really good people that know, that know their stuff, but what they're very good at is basically taking the best that they can out of you. They love what they do and they really connect well with the students, so if you're having an issue, you can go to them, you know, they kind of have an open door policy and they're really good communicators. It's a very personal experience and I feel so much pride in saying that I know every single one of my professors and they know me by name. They care about what my career goals are, they want to see me succeed. I could tell right away that I was going to love this school because um, just walking on campus, you, I felt at home. It makes you feel like you're in a nice like warm blanket. I think if you can stay true to yourself, which is easy to do if you build a community here, you can really find your own path and go any way with it. It has gone beyond my wildest dreams. A few of the people there in particular provided me with so much direction and motivation to sort of pursue my goals. They care about each student individually and you feel that. Going to university can also mean leaving home for the first time and everyone experiences that so differently but at VIU you're so welcomed and supported that VIU almost becomes a second home and it becomes your, your second family. That is such an empowering thing that when I think about what I want to do in the future it helps so much and it makes life really exciting. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it.
right, soccer fans, half time. Second half of the game is about to begin. For those of you just joining us now, we're at the Burnaby Lake Sports Complex for this amazing matchup between the Douglas College Royals and the Capilano University Blues. The score is currently 2-0 for the Royals with goals scored by Taylor Richardson and also a penalty shot, or I should say a PK, done by Rafael Domingos, captain of the Royals. As mentioned before, it is a sunny yet windy day out here in Burnaby. It's been affecting quite a few plays, but has been uh, adding some excitement to the game as well. Seen the ball curve quite a few different ways, even bounce a little differently with the wind. But we'll see how both teams fare in the second half of this game. Blues are going to have to find a way to stay in the Royal Zone for the second half. Let's see if they can have more opportunities to put the ball in the net. Oh, almost a little slip up there by goalkeeper Domingos. Got to watch for those errors. They could be costly. Ref chasing them. Player number four for the Blues. It seems he is getting a yellow card right there. Can't run away from the ref. He will find you. That is a yellow card awarded to Andres Romo of the Capilano Blues. Captain for the Royals, calling all the players in a bit closer. They seem to have a different tactic for the second half of this game. We'll see if it works out. Action there in the air. The ball has finally been settled down. Possession by Blues number seven to nine. Nine finds it through the ref to number 10, who boots it all the way down to find number three, Andrew Shoring. Fortunately, loses it right there at the line. A long strike by the Blues player. Could have found its way to the net, but was stopped comfortably by goalkeeper Domingos. A lot of passing here by the Blues. Working pretty well for them. They just need to get tighter with that. Another ball lost by the wind. Quick throw in here by the Blues. Finds its way to number nine. Cap Lando now has the ball. Number four is trying to slow it down. Number 10 finds two. Eric Swanson. Maman Gandesha right now with the ball. Finds Domingos. Who finds Bronson Hartley. Passes it. Nice pass by Varela finds Desolnier. 
all cleared by Ibrahim. Agabagi with the fancy footwork, working his way through. Ball given the other way to the Blues. Dispossessed by number four, Bran Wazy. Thrown by Lacasio. Finds its way to Jerry Monzano. Hustle by Ibrahim leads to number 11 for the Blues having the ball. But call is slightly offside. That was looking like a chance for Jeremy Monjadar. But as they say, football is a game of inches and chances. Kick from Felipe Domingos. Ibrahim with the ball. Finds Merlin Fisk. Ooh. Kamal Ibrahim seems to have gotten clipped there. That is a yellow card for the Royals. I believe that was a number 17, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of collision there. This is, of course, the Pac West Soccer Championship Games being held at Burnaby Lake Sports Complex. This year, the championships are hosted by Langara College out in Vancouver, British Columbia. All right, the Blues are back in it. Blues are going to have to get better control of the ball here. There goes a push right there. A little confrontation happening between the Royals captain and number seven for the Blues. They're going to have to watch their tempers there. Blues can't afford to lose composure. Varela with the throw in for the Royals. Kick back to the goalkeeper by Eric Swanson. Long go to Swanson. Swanson with the long strike. Possession lost by the Blues.
Swanson with a boot to the words the center. Control held by number eight of the Blues. Very well to get that to number seven. Almost tripped up the ball, but made his way through. Great pass there, but just could not connect with another teammate. Ooh, a great move there, but not work well. Long strike working the sides. Number eight for the Blues finds number 10. Number eight might have an opportunity here, but blocked by the Royals, number five. Corner kick to be taken by number eight, Adrian Sagan. Takes it short. It's a gun back with the ball. Now finds another teammate. Once again, the Blues lose possession. Ibrahim now with the chance to make something happen. Let's see if he can connect for a header or with any of the players located in the box right now. Not find his way through there. A lot of contact happening right here. <laughs> Referee has a lot on his hands right now. Taylor Richardson now with the ball, crosses it towards the box area. Still Royals position right here, number 12 with the ball. Kicked out of the area by the Blues. Bronson Hartley now. A race for the ball. Blues possession. Nothing came out of that opportunity there. Unfortunately for the Blues right now, time is starting to wind down. Number 12 has a good run right now. Path blocked by number two. Eric Swanson. Good job on the defense there.
comes from there as well. Comfortably stopped by Nick Luongo. Looks like another card is coming on. That is a yellow card against the Royals right there. Pretty physical game out here. Blues are just going to take a few seconds to breathe, take it in. On the ball right now is Eric Swanson to take the kick. There he goes. Chase that ball down. Well done with number 15. And that will be Blues ball. Corner to be taken by number two, Eric Swanson. Ref has blowed the whistle. Warning two other players. It's gonna be another corner for the Blues as the wind's picked up once again. Taken short by Swanson, finds number 10. We list it right over the net. Use of the head and chest here. You can see both players there doing their best to get control of the ball. They're even trying to kick it out, the ball is still staying in. That troublesome wind. Things are looking like a pinball down here. Well settled by the Blues. Strike taken by number 10, but comfortably stopped by goalkeeper Felipe Domingos. are going to have to watch out. Here comes number 12 for the Royals. And a slow shot. Well taken out by the keeper. Been to number 7 from the Blues. We've seen a lot of action from Ahmed Ibrahim. Ref says to play on. Opportunity thrown away right there by uh, number 10 from the Blues. Substitution being made for the Royals. Coming off the pitch, number nine, Joshua Penny. Being replaced by number 23, 
Giannis Siafakas. Let's see if he can do something else right here for the Royals. Seem to be onside there. That's working out well. Taylor Richardson with the ball. Ooh, and a close opportunity there. Just didn't quite finish it off there. Couldn't connect with number seven right in front of the net. have largely been in possession of the ball throughout this game. Passing through the center. Finds number 10. Gets it on the outside right to another player. Quick thrown by number 8. A lot of body being used by both teams. Use the body there by number two, Eric Swanson. Our strike by number ten goes well outside. Blues ball. Another dangerous kick with the wind. stop there made by Varello who finds a player and that I believe is enough just outside ref I think is there we go ref has now noticed player down number seven Ahmed Kamal Ibrahim has been taking quite the damage throughout the game. Definitely been keeping tough throughout the course of both halves. Cap not giving up. Still putting the pressure on. Great pass from number nine. But gets stopped by number 11, Taylor Richardson. Rafael Domingos now at the ball, finds Bronson Hartley. He breezes his way past a few of the Blues players. It's going to be Royals' possession. 
Taking the ball will be number 23, Yanni Siafakis. Taking the kick instead will be teaming Alejandro Varela, who's opted in to take the corner. Gandesha to Varela. Varela with a strike towards the box. Finds number four, but does not connect. Substitution being made for the Blues. Coming onto the pitch for the Blues was number 12, Marcos Mendez. Job by Blues number eight to find 15 with the weird win there. That could have worked out. But comfortably stopped by the Brazilian goalkeeper. For anybody out there watching, if you were wondering, yes, indeed, the goalkeeper for Douglas College Royals, along with the midfielder, are from the same family, Felipe Domingos and Rafael Domingos both from Brazil. I believe they both went to high school, Objetivo Boituva. A good pass done by number 10, but once again, the wind stopped it. And unable to receive that pass was number 15. There's still Blue's possession. <laughs> Trick play by Adrian Saga Sahagan. Almost finds its way through quick and clever play by the Blues. nearing the 74th minute of the game. The score is 2-0 for the Douglas College Royals. Corner coming up for the Blues. be taken by number three, Andrew Shoring. So 
Looks there's a collision over there. Between one of the Royals players and number eight, Adrian Sahagan. A little collision of the noggin. I think he'll be all right. Throwing by the Royals. Close strike. That is now two near opportunities for number 15 of the Blues, Bryce Millway. I believe we're going to see another quick play here by Adrian Sahagan. Maybe he thinks he can bend it into the box, despite the wind picking up once again. As you can see, he's getting quite frustrated there. Hopefully the wind will help him right here. team spirit right there. Ball will be kicked out by goalkeeper Domingos. coming up short on the run number seven Bronson Hartley lost the ball to number nine of the Blues Luca Lacasio Taylor Richardson right now still with the ball Great pass from Richardson, see if he can connect with another player. And unfortunately, it's just a bit too much. Blues ball. for some of the Blues players, including Bryce Millway. Has been putting quite a lot of work in and running up and down the field, but things are just not working out. Ball taken away from Lucasio. strike over the bar once again. 
go to blues. A lot of a lot of things going on right there. <laughs> Good pressure put on by the Royals captain, not giving up, using his size and speed. Strike that proves uneventful right there. Safely covered by the goalkeeper. Side blues. Substitutions being made right now for the Royals. Stepping out of the pitch for the Royals, number 13, Benjamin Beaulieu. just outside of the net. You're just joining us now. This is the Pac West Championship soccer match being hosted by Langara College, but we're right now watching Douglas College go against Capilano University Blues. We have around seven minutes left in the game of regular time. Looking quite comfortable right now on the pitch are the Royals. We have another player for the Royals stepping onto the pitch right now. Make his way on the pitch number 16. That's Marco Consiglio. Let's see if these last minutes prove eventful for the Blues.
close opportunity once again for the Blues, but does not work. And it almost looks like somebody might have been hurt on the playback there. I believe that's number 15 for the Blues, Bryce Milway, who's down. Mark is going to go back and make sure everything's all right with the young midfielder. Very unfortunate. Bryce has been putting in a lot of work throughout the game. Things have just not been working his way. Had a great opportunity in the first half. Another one in the second. And just doesn't give up. It's great to see. Seems as if Bryce is back up. It's ready to burn out the last few minutes of this game. Swanson tries to connect with another player. Snuffed by the keeper. Too much there for number 12. Andres Romo finds another player towards the center. It's possessed by the Royals. Or just also. out of bounds. Substitution made for the Royals, stepping onto the pitch. Number nine, Joshua Penny's making his way back on. Close out the game.
great pass right there from Bryce. Connects with Ocasio. Back to Bryce. Marcos Mendez going for the ball. Let's see if they do anything in the last moment there. Kicked into the hands of goalkeeper Felipe Domingos. Blues ball. One from Shoring. Finds its way close to the box right there. To the box once again. A long boot from the keeper. Bryce Millway put in work right there. Connects nicely with another one of his players. And unfortunately, Andrew Shoring just couldn't finish that off right there. Great pass from Bryce Millway. That is it. The Douglas College Royals defeat the Capilano Blues, a score of two to nothing.